What's good YouTube? It's your boy Cole Galati and I'm bringing you guys back another YouTube video. This is the third day of 30 days of coal. So we're out here, you know, the grind is freaking real. The grind is very, very, very real right now. Third upload in a row. We're going for 30. We're gonna get this. All right, guys. So before the video gets started, I do ask that you guys please leave a like down below if at any point in time of this video you guys enjoy it. Make sure you guys subscribe as well. I love you guys so much. Let's get on with the video. Alright guys, so as you guys can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be talking about a very emotional and touchy subject for me. Um, it's one thing that I've never really talked about publicly either. I've just left off of social media and it's just something that only my close friends and family know. And it's coming to the point in time to where as I grow up and you guys keep supporting me for longer and longer, it's only right that I tell you guys and I give you guys a full explanation to why. I moved out of Dallas. So yeah, you guys heard that right. I haven't lived with my parents since I was 16 years old and you guys will understand why. I also do wanna clarify, yes, I still do talk to my mom. Yes, I still do talk to my dad. So I'll start off with, if you guys didn't know, uh, I lived in Dallas, Texas for eight years. I lived in like a neutral area, like it was semi safe and it semi wasn't. But yeah, anyway, I lived in Texas it's like a 50 50 like it's 50% safe 50% not safe so I guess it's just kind of like a neutral like area you know it's safe and it's not safe. anyways I'm totally going off topic right now but uh growing up in my mom was always working and so was my stepdad they're both hard-working parents so mom and Nathan if you guys are watching this shouts out to you guys for doing the most you guys could for me it was kind of like iffy I enjoyed it but I also didn't enjoy it at the same time and for those of you guys that don't know, I dropped out of school. I haven't been to school in a little while now. So I was just always stuck at home and just nothing to do. And as a younger kid, that really takes control of your mind, which sucks that it's like that. But a lot of my younger supporters know when you're just trapped at a house by yourself with nothing to do, it takes control of your mind. And you just start thinking of things to do that may or may not get you in a lot of trouble, which is exactly what I did. I started thinking of things I could do that would get me in trouble because that's just what there was to do. So as I started growing up, nothing to do. It was just, I was always stuck in a house, which not my mom's fault, not my stepdad's fault. It's nobody's fault, like not even my fault. The only fault of mine is that I took it into my own hands to do something that was entertaining to me, which was getting a lot of trouble, which I will later on explain. So as I grew up, I started hanging out with the wrong crowd, which I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to. You start hanging out with the wrong crowd and you start becoming one of them. I started hanging out with the wrong crowd, started fighting a lot. That's one thing a lot of my OG supporters know, as you guys know, like I used to fight all the time, which I do not condone. Anyway, I started hanging out with the wrong crowd. Um, I started fighting people. Like literally we would walk through the mall and if somebody even mumbled something about us, like underneath their breath, like all of us would turn around and we would just go confront and it would eventually lead into a fight. And like, we just did not care. Like we could fight in the mall. We could fight in a McDonald's. We could fight anywhere. Like we were down to fight anywhere. It just sucks because I went from being a really good kid to somebody I truly wasn't. It's just boredom took over me and I, I wanted to do something that was entertaining to me. And to be honest, I was very depressed sitting at the house with nobody around me all the time and just going through a lot of different things at the current moment to where I just took out my anger on other people, which Again, I don't condone anything. Anything I say in this video, I just do not condone doing, by the way. Like, I just do not condone doing anything in this video. So, just want to point that out. <laughs> but yeah, um, we would just go around fighting a lot of people. Just a crazy group of people. Like, that's just what we were. We were just a crazy group of people. It, we weren't a small group. It wasn't just like there was like four of us. There was probably 20 of us, 15, of, 15, 20 of us daily. And we would just all get together and we would just go to malls, we would go to parks. Like we would just do anything and we would go fight people. I mean, we would just go into stores and just, just do stupid things. Just do dumb, stupid, childish things that any 15, 16 year old should not do at all. So as time went on, uh, my mom started finding out about the people I was hanging out with and just the things I was doing. And I started getting in a lot of trouble. 
started getting in a lot, a lot, a lot of trouble. So I'm banned from like 50% of the malls. A lot of the Walmarts and Targets I'm banned from. Just I was just doing stupid, ignorant, childish things that I shouldn't have been doing. But I'm sure you guys understand like exactly where I'm coming from on this. Just fighting just went from just normal fights to like just huge group fights and just... I know some of my friends who got like really hurt over this type of stuff like ended up in the hospital with... I'm not even going to name some of the things but just ended up in the hospital with a terrible amount of like different things going on to them just because of how we evolved and just how we did what we did I guess you know and it just kind of sucks because I put so much pain and hurt on my mom and it hurt me a lot you know like as I got out of that stuff it hurt me a lot you know because I realized my mom was only there to help me and I realized my stepdad was only there to help me and I realized that they just wanted the best for me so as things got worse and worse and worse it was just like a snowball like it just went downhill you know things just got worse and worse it got to the point to where i said yo like i gotta move out like i gotta leave the things i was doing was starting to put my mom and my sister and my stepdad in danger and when i found that out and i realized that i manned up and i was like yo like i gotta stop doing this because i don't want anything to happen to my family like my family means everything to me like they're my all so i took it into my own hands uh, I asked my mom, I said, hey, like, is it cool if I, if I leave? I just need to move out. And she understood. She knows and she knew at the current moment that's what I needed to do. Like, I needed to mature. I needed to be around people that were a better fit for me so I could shape and mold into a different person, a better person in general. So I spent all of my last money flying out to Phoenix, Arizona. I moved in with my aunt. Um... Things were kind of rough living with my aunt because there was a lot of different things going on all the time, you know, trying to figure out social media, trying to figure out just a bunch of different things. Family issues were going on. Um, I ended up meeting my brother, Taylor. You guys know my brother, Taylor. I call him my brother because I look at him as family. Like, to me, he's my own blood. I love him a lot. Taylor, I know you're going to watch this. I love you a lot, bro. You mean everything to me. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me, bro. So I met Taylor and Taylor and I just instantly connected. We just instantly just bonded together. And that really shocked me and it really just made me feel some type of way about myself because nobody has really been able to understand me the way Taylor does. Nobody's really been able to connect with me and, and go down to a level of deep conversations the way Taylor does. So again, Taylor, thank you so much, bro. Um, Anyways, fast forward a couple months, moved in with Taylor, and I've just, over time, just became a better person. I don't care for fighting. I don't care for just being an immature little kid, you know? I just don't care for being an immature little kid, that's all it is. Like, when I lived in Dallas, I was just some immature little 15, 16 year old, even 14 year old. And then I moved out here and I'm just 17, about to turn 18 in a few months. I feel like I'm by far one of the most mature 17 year olds there is right now. But I do just want to tell you guys this, if you guys fight, if you guys smoke weed 24-7, if you guys drink alcohol 24-7, do you. Not, not going to hold you guys back. Do you. All I'm going to say is it didn't help me at all. It did not help me at all. Again, do you. Do what you want to do. But I just want to shine some light on it. It's cool to do it every once in a while. It's cool to go to parties. It's cool to, you know, drink and everything like that. But in my personal opinion, it only makes your anger worse. And it only makes your temptations for wanting to do negative things more often worse. If that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Pretty sure that makes sense. It makes sense to me. I don't know if it makes sense to you guys. That's the end of this video. Sorry if it didn't really make sense. Sorry if it was kind of confusing. Sorry if I was jumping all over the place. I just thought I would explain it to the best of my abilities and what made sense to me in hopes that it would make sense to you guys because a lot of you guys ask me every single day why I don't live with my parents, what happened, like just things of that nature. So I decided I would film a video on it to clear the air so everybody will know. The real reason I moved out of Dallas. To my Dallas people that are watching this, I love you guys. You guys are awesome. To my family that's watching this, I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you for helping me shape and mold into a different person. And to my brother Taylor, once again, thank you so much, bro, for just everything you've done for me, bro. You're like truly freaking amazing. I would do anything for you, bro. I love you a lot. 
Anyway, make sure you guys leave a fat like right now down below. Let's try to go for 119 likes. Let's go for 119. That's easy, right? 119 likes. Let's go for 119 likes right now. This is the third day of 30 Days of Coal. Tomorrow's the fourth day. Make sure you guys subscribe to see tomorrow's video. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys tomorrow.